this episode we are going to talk about the difference between data and the props of the component. So with that I'm your host Sarthak and welcome back to Bitfumes. This is a channel where I talk about Laravel view and many much more things. So if you are interested in these things don't forget to subscribe like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So let's get started and create a new folder inside we will get this file. So let's copy this because we need everything from this file. So let's create a new folder called hash9 as we always do. Paste this file here and it is here. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we have everything here also. Now we have this template. So let's see what's the data. So let's suppose I, here I have this home. Instead of home, I want to say value. So we know that we have to define this value. So let's define it. So data and value is having value of home. So let's open this in Chrome and yes so we have this here 9 HTML. Yeah we have this but we can see we don't have any home here I, even we are getting the warning property or method value is not defined in the instance. That means we have defined the data in the root element but we are using it on the component this is not true because whenever you are going to uh, get the value for the component you have to define that data or the variable inside the component so instead of here we can just move it here so that we will get the value for the component not for the main element so we have defined here let's try this again refresh again we are getting some error it says the data option should be a function that return a pre instance value this means we have to create a data as a function which is going to return this thing so let's define this and I think this is good let's try again refresh and again we are saying something error so let's fix this by moving this out from here let's define firstly value so var value is having value of let's say home so close this and refresh the page again we are having some error let's fix this again so we have to give uh, array like thing so value is having home so I will change it otherwise you will get confused so what I'm doing here I'm I'm giving a data which is, which is returning an array that was not working because that was not array but now it's an array so now it's returning that array and here now we will call message only go back refresh and yes we have the home here so we can see we can define the data as a function which always going to return but in the root element we are not going to do like this so instead of doing this let's do one more thing uh, it's not cool for me so as we have to return something so let's return these things so here I will say value is home and again we have not we don't have any kind of message here so value here go back refresh no change that means returning an array type thing okay so let's see what's the prop so you can see data is only available for this component if you want to use this data on this element sorry you can't do that thing so let's see what is props so for that I will do one thing I will create uh, anchor tag so anchor tag is here and delete these things and I will say simply zero so let's see what happened refresh and again we are getting error because it says exactly one root element whenever this is very important thing remember one thing 
whenever you are creating any component that should be a single element so you can see now we have two element one is this one all these ul is inside that so one is div and one is anchor tag so we only can uh, create one tag inside the template or the component so let's move this inside the div so now we only have one single div all these things is inside that div go back refresh and yes we have this so let's give the class so that we can see properly is a class btn btn info okay so go back refresh and yes we have this so i will do one more thing let's go here create one more anchor tag and give this class of btn btn let's say success and call it add go back refresh the page and now we have this add button and what i want to do whenever i click on this add button i want to increment this value so now this comes the next important concept whenever you are dealing with the component you have to remember one thing so firstly check what is the difference between parent and child whenever you are dealing with component you have to make sure you are clear with the parent child relationship so let's go here so you can see this component has these things so these things are called child but this is parent and this is the child so now the only difference is that parent can pass properties to child but child can only pass events uh, it's confusing let's simplify it parent can pass data to child via props type of things which we are going to see just in a moment but child cannot directly give data to parent it has to emit some event we will see this event thing in the next episode but let's first see how we can pass the data from parent to child via using props so i have told you i want to click add which is outside my component so it's outside component which is like parent and this button having zero is inside component so i want to click this and increment this value so let's just do one thing firstly create some value here and now we don't need this kind of data here okay go back create data for root value so create data and value call the value as zero and because we don't have data in the component so now we can echo out zero here so that we can we cannot get any kind of error so this is good let's go refresh the page and go to view in the root we have the data and value but on the sidebar that means our component we don't have any kind of data okay so what i am going to do i am going to click here and increment this zero it's very simple because we are going to click so i want to say click then increment okay very simple go back create a method methods and increment and we always do like this this is a shorthand also so it's a es2016 so you can use this also so what i'm going to do i'm going to say this dot value plus is equal to one go refresh and click on add yeah this is working fine but i don't want this thing i want to increment this value now comes the props so firstly let's see how we can define it so it's very simple you have to say props colon and you have to give an array of the properties you are defining so let's say i'm defining number property okay so let's echo out this property here let's see what we are getting um, we are getting nothing because we don't have anything because it's this number is not having any kind of value here so let's now connect the child and parent so i have told you 
parent this is the parent parent can only pass properties so now i will pass properties and property name is number so let's pass number which having the value of this value whatever i have in the value i will give here so let's go refresh and we can say we have value here and we have to say here also number so that we can emit the property we have on the ally only so now we have on the button so refresh we have value no this is not i want i want to say the exact value of the value so now what i am going to i am going to bind this property to the parent so i am going to bind property so property is given by the parent and then it is cached by the component and whatever the value we are giving in the number that means the property it is going to echo out inside the component we have binded the number with a value that means exact value of value that means zero let's go refresh yes we have zero here add here so let's add now you can see these two things is inside the components and this is outside but everything is working very fine so whenever i click it increment by one so the method is not inside the component method is outside the component that means in the root but that method is used for the component via props so you can see prop is used for passing data or passing anything from parent to child but data like we have on the starting of this episode data like that this thing this is only for the component only so in the next episode we are going to see how we can pass the data from component to the parent that means whenever i click on this one something happen on outside world so these things if you have any problem please feel free to comment me we will see the events and emitting of the events in the next episode don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye